I got it! <laughs>what do you think of that performance? Right, Tal. Different team tonight. Yeah. Was that a chance to play some of your reserve players and see if yeah. they were? Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I use that game for tonight. It was a um, chance to give. You know, obviously we got big game on Saturday, um, and I did rest key players tonight out of the team. Um, but it gave me a chance to look at some of the younger players we've got in the in the reserves, which we did. You know, at the end of the day, Kidlin were a little bit uh, had a little bit. The, you know, a little bit too much for us tonight in that respect. Um, but you know, we got to really, we got bigger fish to fry than, than that. I'm, you know, I'm not that interested in winning the supplementary cut to be quite honest with you. I just want to, you know, concentrate now on Saturday. This game served its purpose. It may allowed me to look at, um, you know, some of the fringe players that are playing on the outside, and, and also some of the lads that needed games. Um, you know that don't play week in week out could have done with 90 minutes and they got 90 under their belt tonight so you know in that respect it was a it was a good workout but uh, yeah, I was a little bit disappointed we lost by four I think we had a good enough side out to compete with that team tonight unfortunately um, you know our inexperience in certain areas of the pitch showed um, for the first goal in particular well the first two goals in the, in the first half uh, you know, poor little Matt, Matt he's uh, you know, made two mistakes and he's been punished. But you know, if he, he when you come play in the first team, that's what happens. You you know, and that's how these young lads are going to learn. So you know, he needs to just bounce back from that, and, uh, and you know, I'm sure he'll be fine. But yeah, all in all, disappointed because we've lost, but because we don't like losing down here. It's only our second defeat at home all season, and you know, perhaps I've. You know, might have asked for that myself with the sort of side that I had out tonight. But you know, it was a, uh, you know, for me, it's all about um, getting some points on the board on Saturday now. And, you know, we just got to just forget about this one. Like I say, this game served its purpose now. So. Okay. So you still think we're in with a chance? Yeah. None of the results went our way in midweek. They were no. all, they're all won. Yeah. All the top know. teams won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So looking forward to Saturday's game with Whitney. Yeah. We just all we got to do is just look after ourselves. I've always said that. Um, you know, if we can if we can win as many of our last games as we can, and with some of the games that um, that, that hardly have got coming up with their running, you know, teams are going to drop points at some stage. You know, whether it's Ardley or whether it's Slimbridge, Wantage or Highworth, you know, because that's their last three games. So someone's going to be dropping points in those games, and we just got to make sure we're. Just on everyone's coattails, and you know, and if there are any major slip-ups, be in a position to capitalise. What's the feeling like in the dressing room? Are they up for it? 
yeah, oh yeah, we've got uh, we've got fantastic feeling. That's why tonight, you know, some of the senior players that play tonight are, are obviously really disappointed because you know they they're not used to turning up and losing, and um, you know it's uh, especially down here. Uh, so yeah, it was a uh, you know the actual the squad of players have got down here is uh, you know we we know what we, we you know we set our goals out we know what we want to achieve and uh, you know we're not that far away from it and we just got to keep grinding the results out and, and see where it takes us you know I've never ever made any big predictions we're going to do this we're going to do that you know I've, we know what our strengths and weaknesses are and you know we have to work hard at eradicating our mistakes and our weaknesses and uh, and you know really work hard at Putting our uh, using our strengths against the opposition. So yeah, this, this, from a spectator's point of view, mm-hmm. it's been a great season so far. Mm-hmm. Everybody's been really, you know, pleased with the performances. Really good football, mm-hmm. and we're just hoping that we can pip them at the post. Well, I think that's the, you know, that's what uh, that's what we got to do now. And uh, unfortunately, the results-wise, it's, it is out of our hands. Um, you know, with the two points we dropped last week against Oxford. But you know, at the end of the day, we were losing that game. We never ever once was winning. Were winning, you know. We never had our noses in front of that game. So um, the fact we come away from there with the point, you know, it has to be looked at as a positive. It's a bit of a bogey ground for us over there, anyway. So um, yeah, you know, we've just got to keep on going, and let's hope we can pick someone at the post. That, you know, because it. Uh, yeah, we've, like you say, we've had a good season. We just need to keep it going now. And we've got you know, four tough games left, and uh, you know we need to be, you know, we need to win those games. So, yeah. Cheers, Tal. Thanks, Lise.